Good day, folks. Today we are going to do a comparison of the Litra Torchlight and the Loom Cube. We're going to talk about some of the features, some of the differences, and which one I think is the best value. That's coming up. So a couple months ago I did a review of the Litra Torch and basically uh, gave my opinion of it. I haven't actually done any kind of official review of the Loom Cube. I have featured it in some of my videos and have talked about it, but I've never done a review on it. Now I thought it would be a good idea to do a comparison video because there are some people who may be buying some lights this summer, want some portable lighting, and maybe are torn between which lights to get. Now I just want to state no matter what light you choose to go with, whether you go with the Litra Torch Light or the Loom Cube, you are going to be super happy because they are, at the end of the day, both excellent lights. So let's talk about price first. They both come in at $79, and to me that's not a bad price for what you get. They are both waterproof, and they both have a built-in rechargeable battery. This one outputs 800 lumens, this one outputs 1500 lumens. Now I have no way to test that. Sometimes companies claim certain things that aren't 100% accurate. I don't have the equipment to test that, but that's what they are rated for according to their websites. Now when you purchase these lights, both lights can be bought singly as an individual light, but both lights can be bought in kits. Two light kits, they have kits that are geared for GoPro, for smartphone usage, and I'll show you some of the equipment coming up. So for the Loom Cube first, when you purchase it as a single light, you get the Loom Cube and you get a charging cable and an instruction booklet. With the Litra Torch, you actually get quite a bit of equipment. So let's take a look at all comes with it. You get the silicone housing and what this does is protects your hands. Both the Litra Torch and the Loom Cube get very warm when you're uh, filming at the highest lumen output for long periods of time. So Litra has thought ahead and uh, included this little silicone case so you can mount your light inside and that way if you're handling the light you're not going to burn your fingers. On top of that they also include a diffuser and uh, that helps soften the light up and spread it out a little bit so that's actually really nice that that came with it. On top of that you also get a GoPro mount so you can mount this directly on a tripod via the quarter inch tripod thread. This can be screwed into the quarter inch tripod thread and this can now be mounted on any GoPro mount that is compatible with the finger mounts. And you get a little clip. Uh, the clip helps mount it to different things and I'm going to talk about mounting the lights here in a minute. So for $79 you get quite a bit of equipment. Now the Loom Cube does have most of this stuff available. Uh, they actually have an alumina housing that can go over it which helps dissipate heat more and it allows you to attach uh, different filters and frames to the front. They also have a similar diffuser. Again it's a separate purchase. So when you look at that aspect the Litra Torch is a better value um, in that aspect that you get more equipment for your dollar. Now I don't have it here to show you but uh, Loom Cube has filter sets just like uh, Litra Torch. These are the filter sets for the Litra. They have all different filters, color uh, gels and uh, diffusers, different things that you can use and that's how you uh, would mount them on. Now when it comes to mounting the lights the Loom Cube has a single quarter inch tripod thread at the bottom, so you will need to purchase a GoPro mount if you want to mount it into the GoPro ecosystem, or it will mount any like tripod, anything that has that quarter inch thread. And that basically is the only way to mount the Loom Cube. The Litra Torch actually is pretty smart uh, the way they've got their setup. First of all, at the back of it, they have a quarter inch tripod but they also have a second one on the bottom. So that comes in really handy if you need to mount it upside down underneath something. You have the choice on which way it's going to be angled. And like I stated, they already include a GoPro adapter. So the other nice way to mount this is with the clip that is included. It just clips on the back and comes on and off as you need it. And you can clip it to various things, so that's really handy. Now the easiest way to mount this is that it actually has a magnetic base. So I'll just use my scale here just for a demonstration but you can see that's very versatile. You can uh, mount that pretty well anywhere where there's some metal and uh, stick it on. And it's and it's on there good. Like it's it actually has a really good connection. It's not gonna come off. So yeah, when it comes to mounting versatility, uh, this one has it hands down between the two quarter inch tripod threads, the uh, magnet mount, the uh, clip, it's much easier uh, to mount this in different scenarios depending on how you need to use it. Now when it comes to size, they're both nice and compact. The Litra Torch is a little bit smaller, but not by much. You can kind of see there. Now like I said, both companies sell different GoPro kits. Uh, this is the one by Loom Cube, 
and as you can see you can mount a light on either side and it has a buckle mount in the middle to mount your GoPro. Then you attach it to a handle and you've got a nice uh, lighting setup. This is the one by Litra Torch. Again, on this one, it has a quarter inch tripod thread at the bottom. They also sell a variety of different handles like that that you can purchase. But if you're like me, you might already have a drawer full of different handles and things that you can use with it. On the side here, it has uh, two finger mounts. So you can uh, mount uh, the lights with the included GoPro adapters. Then in the middle they have the buckle mount for your GoPro. So both work very similar. They're a little bit different, but they both work well. So let's take these lights outside now and we'll do a quick demonstration. Okay, here we are outside. It's dark. I'm going to use the Litra torchlight first. That's the lowest setting on the torchlight. That's medium setting. So 450 lumens there. That's at the highest setting, 800 lumens. So now we'll switch over to the Loom Cube. We'll turn this light off. So we will turn the Loom Cube on. So there's a Loom Cube at the lowest setting. There's the Loom Cube at a medium setting. And there is the Loom Cube at the highest setting. The Loom Cube has two buttons in which to control it. The uh, Litra Torch only has one button, so you do everything with the one button. It has three power modes, 800 lumens, 450 lumens, and 100 lumens. At 100 lumens, you can shoot for about four hours. At 450 lumens, you can shoot for about 70 minutes, and at the full 800 lumens, you can shoot for about 35 minutes. The Loom Cube actually has several dimness settings, and you can adjust it by the button there. But for it, basically, at 50% power, you can shoot for about 2 hours. If it's at the full 1500 lumens, you can shoot for about 20 to 30 minutes. Both are easy to use, but I do like the one button setup of the Litra Torchlight. Now the one big thing that the Loom Cube has going for it that the Litra Torch doesn't is that it does have a companion app in the App Store and what you can do is you can slave several of these lights together. You can configure them to go off as a flash when you're taking a photo on your iPhone. Now in order to make use of the flash you have to use Loom Cube's app. It has a built-in camera that you have to use. You can't use it with the stock camera that comes on your iPhone. But for me I don't really use it with my iPhone so that's not too important uh, but it is a great feature feature and uh, if that is something you're looking for or need then definitely uh, the Loom Cube might be your best choice. So all in all they are both great lights and it doesn't matter which light you go with you are going to be super happy with it. I've had the Loom Cubes longer than the uh, Litra Torch lights and I've used them all a good amount. Um, now when it comes to which ones I prefer I would have to go with the Litra Torch and I don't know why really I like the way it mounts. I just like the overall ease of use and I've just been generally really happy with it. These are the ones that I carry with me in my backpack at all times. I've just found myself always reaching for them. Now it depends on how you're going to use it. Um, the Loom Cube might be a better choice for you if you're going to be doing a lot of photography and you want to make use of the Loom Cube app where you can slave the lights together and uh, you know fire them all off at the same time. For me, I mainly use the lights for video lighting, fill lighting, different things like that when I'm uh, shooting various scenes and uh, I find these ones are the best for me. Well folks, that's it for my video. Hopefully you found it useful. Maybe you're in the market for a small portable light and uh, hopefully I answered some of your questions. I'll include the links down to both lights below, uh, some of the accessory kits you can get for them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it had value. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.